Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here watching me play Empyrean while I commentate on my play because my mic did not work. This is Alpha 10.5, I think this is episode 3, and I'm just kind of panning around right now showing stuff. <laughs> Trees and more trees. Okay. Um, so what am I doing now? It looks like I'm going to step back and forth and keep looking at trees. Why am I keep looking at trees? What am I doing now? Okay. I'm going to look at my level. Oh, I gained level five. That's right. Yes. I'm level five and I have 45 unlock points now. So I'm going to spend them. And what did I spend them on again? I, I think I wanted like the hover vessel stuff, right? Because I want to make up. So I'll choose the large constructor. Could no, no. I'm gonna come on. Cho choose the hover vessel. You can do it. Come on, no, no. Don't take the large constructor. Come on. Oh, okay, okay. I'm right. Right. I took that because I can take the armor too. Yes. Okay. And then, and then I took the. Tools? No, I didn't take any tools. What? Why am I looking at this crap? Just go back to the hover vessel and take the hover vessel stuff. Come on. Okay, grab it. Did, 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 there you go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that was what I was wanting. That was it. That's all good. So, with 14 points left, we did take the uh the small constructor and we put that inside the hut so we're going to be able to make all this stuff with the small constructor four points left i'd probably take the lights i think i took lights right now i can't remember what did i take did i do the lights yeah i did spotlights so now I'm going to whip up a bunch of gear, uh, hover vessel parts, and throw all that together. So I did make some medicine, a couple of pills there. So in case I get poisoned, I might have some defense against that now. Um, I could make some more. That's actually not a bad one, too, the poisonous bite. There we go. So my builds, my hover vessel builds are usually pretty sparse to start. Um, now I would normally take a cargo box, but this time around I don't need to because I took all the uh, cargo controllers and the uh, cargo extensions, the controller extensions. So I can just go straight to those right away using the small constructor so you can see I'm not making everything in the portable constructor because it can't make everything it can't make the the guns and it can't make the uh, controller the, the cargo controllers it can't make the extensions uh, it can't make the harvest module um, yeah so all the stuff that I really need on the hover vessel it can't it, that the portable constructor can't really make. It can just make the basic vehicle itself, but can't make the goods. So that's why I'm throwing a bunch of stuff into the Hongo now. And then I'll go in and make all the rest of the stuff that the portable constructor can't actually do. So I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Portable constructor again. Oh, I need to grab wood, right? Did I not? Gra I did grab wood. Okay. Just making sure that it's working, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay, make the stuff. Come on, you can do it. It's it's right there. Right, you, you almost, you're looking at it. It's up, over. Come on. Oh, more. You can get there. 
Oh no, that's not the. Con oh, it's over, over, over to the left, over down, down. Where you were there, you were there. Oh, just, just, just. Oh, what? Oh, well, that was so close to constructing. Well, let's see. Let's we'll we'll, we'll hang in there. We can we can we can see me construct something. I know I can do it because I did it. Um. Right now, I'm just looking at the statistics of it because it's saying that the current output is 260. I want to see what its consumption is without it actually being turned on or uh, with its consumption um, when it gets turned on. And right now, it's at zero. Um, so we're going to be turning it on. It has a whole bunch of battery because for three days, I haven't turned it on. It's just been sucking up juice. So, yeah. Um, so now I'm going to turn it on, right? Yay! And then I'm going to go up to the constructor, right? No, I'm going to look at the uh, the stats now. So it's consuming 94 power units and outputting 272. So I'm I'm still I'm still charging the batteries, but as soon as we start constructing stuff, it's going to drain the battery because it's more than what the output is of the solar panels. So so we're going to be making the couple Gatling guns, the harvest module, um, and we'll be making like the control container, not con container controllers. We're going to make the ammo controller and the ore and wood controller, and then we're going to make probably like 30 of the extensions, right? At least, yeah. And then, oh god, the fridge. Right, I can make a fridge. And I think is that all I'm gonna make there? No, I can make the I can make the yeah, the the armor locker. Oh I think I thought that I made it and I was checking right here because I don't know why I stopped making the armor locker. And but I'm not making it out there, so because you can make an armor locker I believe from the portable constructor, so Um, so we'll make that, we'll make the armor, and then we're probably going to cancel out the extensions, right? Because we don't want those to, we want to put the armor on, we'll make the extensions after, maybe? No? No? I do want to get the hover vessel built this episode, though, so, um... So why am I dawdling? Come on, grab, just shut up and grab your gear. <laughs> okay. Come on. Construct, construct, construct. Faster, faster, faster. Yeah. It's actually on fast. The, I, I set the constructors on fast. I didn't do instant because that kind of feels cheaty a little bit. So, I guess the best way of leveling after this is going to be having the harvest module and guns because um, there's really no point in using hand weapons when, you know, you can strafe them from 150 yards and something that has protection around you. So, yeah. Um, I usually... Don't worry about the handheld gun so much until I start doing some POI raids. Because the only thing I really make at the beginning is the shotgun, and that's all I really need. And then if um, if drones or something come, hopefully I have the HV up and running by then and just take care of them. So we're going to be laying down the the starter block here. I'm just looking for a good flat place. That looks like a decent place right there. So we'll launch the drone. I find it easier to uh, build with the drone even though that it drifts a little bit because you can get into like the lower areas and nooks and crannies and stuff. So, okay. Let's see. Yeah, this is a pretty good, that's a pretty good spot. There's a nice and flat area right there. Just grab it. You can do it. 
you can do it. I know I can do it because I did it. So just just grab the, there you go. Hit number one. Hit there, yeah. Now I know, um, I think it's still kind of bugged, so I'm going to like drop it from the air so that if it's, if the weird green encasing stays, then it won't bug us while we build. And yeah, the green funky casing stays. <laughs> weird display artifact. I'm not the only one that suffers from that. I've actually seen a couple other YouTubers experience that too, so I know it's not just my uh, my video cards. Okay. So normally I take out all the blocks around the core because they're they're just kind of useless. Come on. I'm not sure why I'm hesitating on taking the block out. There you go. <laughs> God, I talk too much, obviously. Now, normally I throw ammo up at the front and then uh, the cargo up at the back. So I think that's what I did again. Let's see. Put the... Uh, Put the cargo container and the extenders on first. I think I'm just explaining if you ever lose your bearings with your, if you've multi-tooled everything down and then you forgot which way your core is facing, if you, if you have a fresh um, cockpit that's not, that you haven't fiddled with, uh, or just reset it so that it's default and go to place it on the core and it'll show you which way it's the core's facing. Okay. So I guess I'm going to grab the extenders here. Yep. Like I was saying, I usually put the ammo up at the front there and then with a couple of extenders off the front. And then, I'm not really sure. Um, what did I do here? I think I screwed up here, right? I put a, I think I put an extender down when I wanted to put the RCS. Yep. Yep. And then I get all choked up myself. And <laughs> uh, come on, you can figure out that you don't want that there. I know, I know you don't want that there. It was a crappy placement. Get rid of it. <laughs> there you go. Yay! Oh, you can do it. There you go. I knew I could do it, because I did. I mean, it's not a huge waste. It's a waste of a couple steel plates. Ooh, not a big deal. There we go. I'll put the RCS, and then I'll put um, then I'll put an extender and the uh, and the uh, um, or controller. Come on. I know I want to put the ore controller there. I, I, I really, really want to put the ore controller there. There we go. Yeah. And then I'm probably going to extend out the sides of the ore controller a couple of uh, container extenders. So we'll put those on. Right? Right? Yep. And then 
and then we'll put the ground repulsors on. Yeah. So the two at the back wider out like that help to stabilize it and two at the front really narrow like that actually help to stabilize it. So the, the theory is, is as you're moving forward into rough terrain, the the single line of repulsors at the front don't cause you to flip at all when you hit on even terrain. So it, it's really smooth going over the rough terrain and then the rear ones stabilize you once you've gone over the rough terrain. It actually works quite well. Um, I usually put the cockpit on now. That's my go-to cockpit five. And then the generator. Yep, the generator. It's like I can read my own mind. And then the fuel tanks to either side of the Jenny down along the core and RCS there. Um, then I'll probably just pop more extenders in here. Um, so I'll put thrusters on now, I think. I think it's time for thrusters, isn't it? Am I doing guns right now? No. Really? I'm not doing thrusters? Come on. Okay, fridge. Yeah, you can grab that. Might as well, might as well grab the harvest module, too, while you're at it. Okay. Put the armor. Oh, we're thinking about it now. There we go. Okay. Well. Let's see if I actually succeed in putting any more blocks on this thing. Oh, there we go. Thrusters. That's what I was wondering when I was going to actually grab those. So I think I just did them on the, uh, right beside the controller, didn't I? Yeah. And then, not sure what I did next. Probably, probably the lights or something where they, yeah, the, uh, up at the front there. That, and then the headlights. There we go. I like the angled ones to the other side. It creates this huge array of light. Now, unfortunately right now, this volumetric lighting just creates fog at night. It doesn't actually light up very well unless you're really close. Um, and all these people, well, that's what it's like in real life. No, it's it doesn't create fog, okay? It doesn't create freaking fog like it like they do right now <laughs> uh come on you can put the gun on right up up one higher well, right there there you go that looks like where the gun's gonna go just just clamp it on there you go so i'm placing there in in um a little bit of forethought of how this is gonna develop as i level so I do plan on putting like drills on it and stuff. So it, with the guns there, it makes it makes the drill placement easier for me. I don't have to remove the guns. Okay, so I think uh, this is where I mess up again. I put the wrong, I put the blocks in the wrong way. I'm positive I do, and then I have to remove them again. So let's watch me derp. Nope, not that one. That's going to be ugly. No, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. You won't. You realize it's ugly now. And right about here is the realization. <laughs> okay. 
Just go, go to that one, yes. And derp. There you go. Good derp. And derp again on top of it. Yeah, you can do it. Derp and derp. Oh, yeah, that's not how I wanted it. <laughs> and I see that right away. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, what did I do that for? What the hell? <laughs> no, no. Oh, wow. That's pathetic. And this is where I feel all sad and, and, and derpy. And my, my zap of shame. My, my zaps forever of shame. My God. <laughs> uh, makes it that much worse with just a survival tool. Yeah. Okay, now put them on the right way, facing the right way. You can do it. So go back to the other block and flip it. That's what I'm going to do. Come on. No. Like that. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now put those other pieces in. And it'll start coming together a little bit here. There we go. Yeah. There's going to be thrusters going on top of those, so... Um... It's going to be a drill going all the way back to that. So might as well just fill in this side. At least we're covering up the, uh fuel tanks okay okay it looks ugly as hell and it's probably gonna handle like crap because it's got like one RCS Ugh, we're gonna have to do something about that next episode I think I don't think I put enough RCS in maybe I build some more I can't remember now <laughs> I want to fast forward and find out. <laughs> Come on. I can put more blocks in. Yes. And I got one left. I think I just pocket that one. I don't bother putting it in. Um, well, I guess we're going to go to the base now and install the gear on the base. So we've got, we don't, I don't think there's anything left in there, no. We've got our armor on us, and the armor locker, and the fridge, so let's get those put in. Um, oh yeah, I can make a whole bunch of 15 mil bullets, so let's do that. We're doing that. And good enough. And I don't like you. Let's get rid of it. Okay, and then we'll put the armor locker there. Nice. Put on some armor. No, not in the locker. There you go. Oh, yeah. We look like a spaceman now. Nice. Okay. Well. Bloody alphas with their bugs. Fun, fun, fun. Um, I guess next episode we're going to take that thing out and go explore with it. Uh, we need to fill it up with ammo and fuel. We're going to be using those to level with. Um, yeah. So now what am I doing for the next... 
four minutes, <laughs> three minutes, watching watching me craft bullets, I guess, okay? Okay, no, we're looking at the power here, okay, so 353 consumption while it's running. So it's going to drain the battery, unfortunately. But that's just the way it goes. I'll throw that crap in there anyway. No, we're not starving. We're fine. We put all that in the fridge too. Yep. Nice. Uh, I guess I can eat some grain. A little bit of grain, right? If I had a toilet, I could just not worry about indigestion at all and just like pig out on everything. I think we need a large constructor to make more deco though. I could, I could convert the bed, the, the bunk bed, into a toilet. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it's looking like my ammo is almost done. Well, that's good. Because um, realistically, I. I actually shoot things up quite a bit more than I actually grind them up for some reason. I just find it faster to just kill everything with bullets. Depending on what it is, of course. And unfortunately, I don't usually make thrusters for the front of a starter, so it, um, so it doesn't go backwards very well. So I like grouping everything because it just makes it easier to find, and then um, and then I can use uh, custom custom switches so that uh, I don't have to do a whole bunch of signal logic and do a full-on switch or sensor. So I guess I can make some more because I'm, I'm just topping up the amount that it's making there. Well, it's looking like uh, this is getting close to the end of the episode and I'll be like sleeping pretty quick here. So um, until next episode, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.